We're going to Cabo. The trip was booked five days ago. I packed, of course, me being me, last night, and then I woke up at five o'clock in the morning to finish packing. Also, if you guys always see me in this like jacket, I swear I always wear this jacket. It's just because it's so comfortable. I went and I got my lashes done and then I got no sleep, so my under eyes are so purple. And then the lady, she used way too much glue on this eye and my eye was burning so bad that I thought I was gonna get pink eye. Like it was bright red for the last two days because I ended up getting a horrible infection like two years ago after getting lash extensions because the lady, she either used too much glue or she didn't dry the glue after finishing the lashes and I got a horrible infection on New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. I, like had to go home early. My eye was like swollen. I was horrible. I was like, please God, do not let this happen this time again. So I'm packed. I am ready. I am so tired. I barely got any sleep. I haven't been to Cabo since 2019. So I'm excited to go back. I'm staying at a hotel I've never stayed at. Anyway, I am waiting on my car right now and I will see you guys at the airport. Just came out to tan and schedule jet skiing and this like boat cruise but I think the cruise goes to the Arch and Lover's Beach here and then we're gonna go snorkeling tomorrow um, and then I just ordered some fajitas this is off the menu they were super nice to make this we just were really craving some fajitas and yeah I'm gonna lay out here drink probably go to the pool in a minute because it's getting really hot Guys, they have an espresso cafe here. Got fish tacos, a Caesar salad, shrimp ceviche, guac, and then a pineapple juice. breakfast it's so nice and relaxing so we're staying at the reserve part of this hotel so it's just kind of like a separate area from the rest of the hotel so this is our dining area this is the pool and then we're actually gonna stay in one of these rooms that have like the swim out pool but then we ended up getting the ones that are up here 
All right, I got a green juice and then side note you guys I always wear this ring on this finger. It gave my finger a rash and then I put it on this finger I don't know my mom gave me this ring. I never want to take it off, but I got coffee So I got a salmon tostada. I think this is like beet cured salmon something like that I don't know and then a sausage cheese omelet hash brown. I might order some grapefruit juice. This is so pretty though. I think this is spinach powder, whatever that means. <laughs> so I'm walking to make it to the taxi to go ATVing. I am so late, but I'm excited. I was very nervous and then I got used to it and then I warmed up and it was so much fun so we're just taking a little water break and then we're gonna go down Just got a burger for lunch and I'm drinking a mimosa. I'm still by the pool. I'm probably gonna go and shower, start getting ready for the day. You guys, this is my setup right now. I always bring my tripod for trips because of pictures, videos, whatever, and I decided to make some TikToks. I am going to get ready for dinner right now. I have just been recording videos. I haven't really been talking at all because we kind of had a rough settling in i'm not gonna lie so the first night we got here we ended up getting the room right next to um the restaurant that has a band so our balcony was right next to the band that plays every single night we got no sleep the first night it was horrible and we asked to switch rooms our balcony faced the restaurant so every morning anytime you left the curtains open you got a full view of the people eating outside of this restaurant at the hotel so we had requested a room change and i thought we were being a little snobby until just today i was at the pool and i heard someone say that they were switching from their room because it was right next to the restaurant with the band then we switched and the entire experience changed i will give you guys a room tour tomorrow we've spent the majority of our time at the hotel the only thing that we did do is atving which i did record for you guys you've already seen it if you are this far in the vlog we actually did extend the trip i know we did this the last time we do not use our time wisely because you know when you know you only have three days you're technically supposed to like jam pack those days with activities but we wanted to extend an extra day because the first couple days we were settling in well, today's sunday we're supposed to leave tomorrow originally but we extended a day so we're leaving tuesday i am right now getting ready for dinner i just got out of the shower enjoying this view and drinking some coffee last night i had to quickly get ready because i was running late for dinner but here's some pictures for you guys and if you want to see all of my outfits from this trip make sure to follow me on instagram Oh my god, it like touched my brain. <laughs> These are the rooms with the swim out pools.
heading to the boat to take to the arch. I decided to come down to the pool to catch the last of the sun although this is a horrible idea because I'm already sunburned <laughs> but anyway I'm hungry so I ordered a burger fries and then this cherry tomato salad so I'm gonna eat this and probably lay out for a little bit do some work on my laptop So it's our last night here and I just called room service and ordered like everything. I was starving. I've got some fajitas, spaghetti, chicken wings, more fajitas, and then two Caesar salads and some dessert. I'm gonna eat this and then probably go to bed. It's our last day. I just woke up and I ordered some coffee to my room. Definitely slacked this trip and I did not do like a room tour. So I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour of the room looks insane. Do you want to show you guys what it looks like? The door and then this is our bathroom that I've already destroyed. The shower actually has two in here. It's cute. It's like a his and hers. All these bottles just ignore the mess. Um, these are our beds, TV, and then a little table and then this is our view. It's so beautiful. I'm so so happy that we decided to switch rooms. This view is gorgeous. So beautiful. This is kind of our section of the hotel. It's really nice. It's really nice and quiet over here secluded they play like a really nice playlist so it's very relaxing and then this is our restaurant that we eat at breakfast lunch dinner we're really gonna go down there right now and have breakfast we're supposed to actually go jet skiing today but because we're so smart we did not apply any sunscreen and we left the beach looking like lobsters extremely sunburned i think i bought like two bottles of the aloe vera gel yesterday and i was kind of upset about it because i love jet skiing i've been to cabo three times now and jet skiing in Cabo is so much fun boat ride yesterday which was so beautiful and we did some whale watching yesterday it was so much fun I got really seasick I was really disappointed in myself honestly because I've never been seasick but actually I've been seasick once before on a cruise when I was like 13 that my family and I went on and I remember I laid in bed for a good two days five minutes into this boat ride I had already found myself like laying down because I felt like I was going to puke. It was horrible. But anyway, okay, I'm done. I'm gonna go downstairs, have breakfast, probably start packing. We're checking out, it's hanging out at the lounge for another 10 minutes before a taxi gets here to head to the airport. It's sad. Mm -hmm. 